Hey guys, Jason Fung here, architect working in Toronto, and I've got a bone to pick. My opinion about architecture school, and this is probably an unpopular opinion, I don't know, uh, but I, I'm biased because I went to this school, um, Ryerson University, which is now uh, Toronto Metropolitan University, TMU. I think TMU is the best architecture program in the country. I think it boils down to five points, and it starts with location. Location is a huge one. Uh, uh, you're in the heart of the you're in the heart of the city. You know, Toronto, the center of the universe, <laughs> so to speak. Um, and so, it wasn't a pilgrimage to go see some of the world's greatest architects, some of their work in the city. I mean, I could, from Ryerson, you, or sorry, TMU, you could walk to, then it was called BCE Place, now called Brookfield Place. That's a Calatrava building. You could walk to the AGO. You know, that's a Frank Gehry renovation to a KPMB project. Of, like, there's this lineage of architecture in the city that is almost unmatched in any other Canadian city that houses a school of architecture. There's a, just a broad number of buildings here that as a student, as an architecture student, you could walk and take a look at. And uh, that's a huge advantage. Uh, there's another program in, in Toronto, uh, the University of Toronto, that's an architecture program. Um, and also, I mean, there's George Brown, there's other like um, technologist programs, architectural technologist programs that are also very strong. Uh, I think just location-wise, being in the city is a huge benefit to, to a student and just physically being here uh, was a huge, huge benefit. There's also the nightlife. Like, uh, depending on what school you go to, there is a social aspect to architecture. Uh, you have to go out, you have to be relatively social to, to be good at your job as an architect. Um, we are reaching out to other humans to design for them. And it's so critical to, to be able to listen, to be able to to ha captivate an audience, to, so to speak. So um, that's a whole nother side of, of, of that. Um, but then what makes, what makes uh, TMU unique is that it's woven into this fabric of the city. The, the, the lines between the, the, the line between campus versus city is incredibly blurred because it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a campus that has, that's acquiring buildings in the city and kind of outreaching at all times. Um, more established campuses like U of T, they, they have their almost perimeter. Um, it being part of the fabric, like you walking through, you know, very close to Young and Dundas Square or the Eaton Center or um, on, the, on the northern side uh, near the village, um, over to the other side, York, Yorkville. Um, um, I mean, you're right you're part of this fabric in the city. Um, and that's kind of a big deal. Uh, going to TMU, uh, you, you just walk across the street, you experience a, a living, breathing city uh, as you walk to class and things like that. It is, I mean, we're also located in, yeah, the largest city in the country. Uh, that's a big deal. I mean, the, with the diversity and the population, you get a really good, check and balance checks and balances against ignorance and and other kind of close-mindedness uh, i found i was certainly challenged you know i was coming from a suburb i'd lived in a suburb my whole life moving to the city it was like whoo my my overall perception of the world expanded infinitely and so having that as exposure as a person was huge that was a big big draw. I didn't even realize it. I was just lucky to get in, in my opinion. I mean, also, like, being in Toronto, you're witnessing construction every day. There's so much construction in this city. Um, we got to see, you know, shoring get put in uh, for, for digging up uh, a big parking lot underneath some condo that's going up or some building that's going up. There was so much construction going on, and that is also great exposure as a student. In fact, some of my classmates worked construction as a way to do a summer job kind of thing. Uh, what better way to understand buildings and design for building, design buildings uh, 
than to be a, an actual uh, builder, to, to actually work with your hands and construct things. That was a big, that was a big deal. Just being in Toronto. So that, that, that's, a, those are the huge points for number one. Uh, number two is the program. Like TMU had, has such a great program. Um, I'm from the old program, which is, you know, two decades, two decades old now. But uh, in that program, I mean, I, I, we, we had such inferiority complex that um, <laughs> the program was overloaded with, with classes. I, I had, I think, nine courses per term. I had seven courses per term and two of them were split. So it was nine courses per term, which is ludicrous. Like a typical term or semester would have four to five courses. We would have nine. It would be insane. It would be four for studio, four credits for studio, then history, theory, structures, systems, materials. Like it would be like loaded on top of that. And then t like it, it was insane. Um, but out of that bred some great students and uh, even the worst students are pretty bright people they're they're brilliant humans so uh, I'm very proud of our class and our our, our program um, it's matched against I think none um, <laughs> should the school have more money uh, I'm sure they can get even better technology but now it's kitted out with 3d printers laser cutters all sorts of of the bleeding edge uh, technologies for architects to use. Uh, so, I mean, that's, that's my opinion about that. Um, third, I would say like the professors are great. I, I remember having a, a great experience with the professors. They spent their time, you know, fostering the students, making sure that they understood what was, what was being taught of them. And they knew that it was, this is all a challenge. Like we're in this together to, to learn and to, to get better and to, to figure things out. Um, they did, they spent a lot of effort making sure that we, we evolved as students and they would evolve with it. So, I mean, as architectural theory, you know, evolves and changes that like they would pivot with the changing of the world of, of how, how things are being taught. So, I mean, since, since me going to school there, um, there have been program changes that, ch that it, it has been kind of rejigged to, um, to evolve with the changing times. Uh, I was there giving guest crits to third year students last week. And yeah, the, the work is solid. The work is incredibly solid. And this is coming out of two years of a pandemic. So in, in theory, the students are catching up, but from what I saw, the work was great. And um, with further fostering and, and things like that, uh, I mean, this is the next generation of architects and I'm very proud to be a part of that group. They also did this really brilliant thing, like related to the building is because we're all on different floors, uh, they. The program has this thing called collaborative exercise. Once a year, around January or February, they bring all the years together, mash them together in groups, and then do some kind of a competition or collaborative exercise, something. So all of a sudden, a first year would be mixed with second, third, and fourth years in this kind of group project. Uh, kind of a brilliant idea of, of mixing experiences together. And then all of a sudden, you get role models out of that. You get place, you know, uh, at, at all places, then you, you have kind of a protege and mentor kind of situation, um, a kind of a brilliant idea. On top of that, uh, you get to meet some peers that you might not, that's in a completely different year than you, above or below. The fourth thing is, is because, I mean, it goes back to location. You're in Toronto, which means that pulling in good guest lectures isn't so hard. It's not, not that crazy. You can get some great uh, critiques from, from people that are in big firms or small firms, small practices around the city. Uh, and then on top of that, Toronto's kind of a hub. So uh, architects flying in, um, architects working on big buildings, very important buildings in the city. Um, they, there's an opportunity there for, for students to watch guest lectures and things like that. And a lot of times we would also piggyback on other programs. So uh, the University of Toronto also has some great guest lectures that would give presentations at their school. A lot of us would go to those lectures as well. And we get this exposure. Right? There's this 
there is this nice sharing of, of knowledge and resources uh, by having the two schools so close to each other. Um, and that, that was wonderful. Uh, there's kind of a fifth thing. I mean, it's not the biggest point, but uh, little do a lot of people know, the architecture building at TMU is designed by Ron Tom. And he's a prolific, prolific Canadian architect. Um, it's, not the, it's not the greatest building, but it has some moments. He's a Canadian architect. Um, he, you know, it is a brutalist building. Um, there are its flaws, but you know, the way the atrium flows, uh, the concrete, the heaviness of the building mix oddly enough with the lightness and the stacking of each, each year. Um, there was a very, there was a clarity when I went to school each year, we would be on a different floor in this kind of four story building. Uh, it, that like, that was really interesting. You know, we'd start at one year and then descend down or, or yeah, actually we descended down through the years. Year one was at top and then we go down and down uh, through the building. Uh, that was a very neat thing because you kind of knew your place in the, you knew your place in the, in the building. Um, and it related to your education. I mean, that's, that's my take on it. Uh, it's a polarizing opinion. I know I certainly loved the school and uh, I, I think the world of it, um, but I do suffer from inferiority complex. It is a lesser known school in the country, let alone in the world, things like that. Uh, but I think the education was top notch and kudos to everyone at, at TMU. I, I'm rooting for you guys. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching and uh, catch you on the next one. Cheers.